Hello everyone, this is Joseph and I'm going to demo my, my digital ethnography and bibliographic tools, Thunderdell and BusySponge. And basically everything I do goes into a mind map. So if I click on my field notes, you can see here I have various sources. Here's the authors, the title, it's a URL. So if I click it, a web page will open up and then there's a citation, summary, and an excerpt. So I click on that again. See, there it goes. And then if I, you know, if I want to paste something else into there, I just hit Control V over here. There it is. And then I can say it's an excerpt, paraphrase, and change the color accordingly. So I have thousands and thousands of primary sources and secondary sources in my mind maps. And so I also edit everything in Markdown, my slides, books, my papers. And so here's an example. Here's a markdown file. And if I was curious, like, oh, what did this citation here? What did this actually mean? I can just go to the command line, chase my chase through all my mind maps, do a query of that citation key, and it pulls up a web page. Here I am. I have excerpts, citation information, web page URL, author. And that makes it very easy for me to find things. This also has a web interface, so you can do it from the command line or the web. So if I wanted to search for the uh, Anthony Giddens, a social theorist, I could type it in, and I can do this anywhere, which makes it nice. Uh, and then I could also click on any of these sources. And so here's a book by Bourdieu and Wacant. I click that, and here's my notes on that book. Again, if I wanted to quote any of this, I'll just copy it, take it over to my Markdown, paste it. And then my Markdown processor, Pandac, would turn this into the appropriate citation depending on the style I want to use. So it's a block quote, and then Pandoc would make this a author date citation or a footnote citation, depending on whether I'm like using APA or Chicago. So that makes it very easy for me to find information in my sources and to create my and write my documents. But there's also the problem of how do you How do I actually f get all that information into my mind maps? And so if I were to search Wikipedia for Giddens, I would find this particular web page. And I have, on sites where I do a lot of work, I have very specific scrapers that are good at extracting the bibliographic information. So I go over to my console. I'm going to do a busy sponge. I'm going to send the uh, source to my mind maps. I'll give it a test keyword. I give it the URL. It goes off, it scrapes Wikipedia, gives me a citation key, an author, and a title. And it's also going to grab the most significant first paragraph, but I could also add other excerpts I want. So now if I go and I check out my field notes, there it is. Grab the first paragraph, that's the thing I paste it into the console, and it's now available for me to search and make use of. Busy Sponge also uh, has some generic heuristics for scraping bibliographic information out of websites. Uh, and so, for example, if I clicked on this, I want a mind map. I'm going to give it a test again. It's going to go off, and it's not going to do as good a job, but I can override that. So I can say the author is Chris Kirk and Ben Blatt. And the reason this is, is a lot of websites aren't very good at providing consistent metadata about their websites. The website is Slate. It's going to grab the first paragraph, likely. But if I read something else that I liked and I wanted to include in the excerpt, paste it. And it logged it to week eight of my field notes. If I went and I checked my field notes, there it is. Right? And so it makes it very easy to collect information. For some specific scrapers, like the Wikipedia one, I actually go and I grab the permalink to the URL. But things like this, this is pretty much the permalink, so that's kind of handy. And basically, that's what I use. I use the web, I use Markdown and Pandoc to write, and then I use this Thunderdell to create bibliographic citation files from those mind maps, and I use BusySponge to sponge and suck up web sources into my bibliographic mind maps. Thank you for watching.